I would like to ask you guys because I know Bounty Block and Lethos have collaborated. Can you talk about some of the um, some of the aspects, whether it be media engagement uh, or marketing that you guys have worked with together, and what kind of results you've seen so far? Because I think um, I think Michael, you may have mentioned it that you know it's always you know it's a revolving door; nothing stays static. We always have to try to pivot and adjust towards what the market wants or needs. So what has been the relationship thus far with uh, with Bounty Block and Lethos and the, and the initiatives you guys are driving? And how do you con- consider that relationship moving forward? It's been great. I mean, I got, we got introduced, um, you know, via Alex. Um, he, Alex, knew the kinds of things that we were doing, trying to build community and um, just trying to, trying to create value for the ecosystem. And we had a, throughout, with you know the campaign of what we're doing um we created a bunch of you know you know just assets and collectibles that we really were mainly designed to just help celebrate um the ip and you know what we're doing on both tiktok and with the comics and um it was actually may from hash pack that said hey you know I, i showed her um the um storyboards that we'd created for the TikTok series. And, and she's like, well, these would make really, really interesting collectibles. And I hadn't really thought of that. And it was, but it sounded like a really, really interesting idea hadn't been tried. Most of, I feel like most of the NFTs we see in the space, most of them are at least, you know, what I see a lot of it is, um, you know, kind of profile picks um, and just, you know, specifically art related. This was an opportunity to create something that was a little bit unique. Um, that was a digital collectible, to, a digital collectible used in the creation of the one of the pieces of entertainment we did. And so it so it was like, OK, this is a very interesting opportunity to see, OK, what if we created collectible cards that were um, celebrating the piece of the series as kind of, you know, again, in the Web3 way of bringing people into the process of how we're building these things and making that a part of the collection moving forward. Now, that's one step. Another one would be, um, you know, if that is a success and people like it, and that's really success just here is defined by do the, do the community appreciate it? Do they like it? Um, do they find value in it? Are they trading them with each other? Normally, like, you know, the kinds of things you'd see with any kind of collectible cards. And then if that works, we can do more, you know, that are similar, you know, um, to this and and more about creating fandom. And so when uh, Alex turned me on to uh, Dimitri and Bounty Block, we initially had a very con- you know great conversation, but weren't sure exactly how we would create a contest or a thing at the time. And then I kind of drew back to what May said about this idea about doing these cards and said, well, maybe this is a perfect opportunity while we're in the middle of you know, showing people the TikTok series and introducing them to the comic series. Well, let's see if we do um, make these cards and and make that more of a contest um, and a celebration. And fortunately, they had a very mature technology and were ready so that we could actually move very, very quickly. So we kind of created something, um, you know, in a matter of days that, you know, we had all the art pieces. So it was more about, okay, well, can we you know, what would this be and how would it look? And mostly technologically, it would take a lot to kind of pull this off. But because Bounty Block was so mature, it was a pretty fast turnaround for us to kind of collaborate. So this was a really great way for us to, you know, get to know each other, build something awesome and then, you know, see how that goes. And then, you know, look at opportunities to do more of these if the community likes it. That's awesome. And from, from uh, your guys' standpoint, Bounty Block, um, you know, what would you like to tell the community, the audience? Because we're obviously going to be pushing tweets out around um, the spaces. Um, you know, w- w- you know, can you explain how you guys are helping projects? Uh, what are the easiest ways um, that you guys can invite projects in to try out your platform? Where do you recommend people go? Who do they get in contact with for potential services that you guys offer? Um, what does that look like from a community building standpoint like? Because I think platforms like you guys, you know, they kind of have uh, turnkey solutions around, um, you know, you know, engagement or contests or things like that are important in this space. So where would you like to drive people towards uh, in learning a little bit more about what you guys are facilitating? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Michael, for the nice kind words. I just want to add quickly, you know, our team has been working with uh, Michael's team and uh, 
the synergy and the just the way they're connecting it's it's magical i love it it's like a it's such a, such a mutual uh it's chemistry there going on it's really nice uh very very and what i love about their team is that and michael himself it's the 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 background experience so you know when they when they suggest or they want some feature or an idea we know it's like man this is this is actually a really really good idea because it comes from you know real experience and and real, real reasoning it's not just hey it's a nice to have right so we appreciate that so uh but going back to your question um uh you know our to our tools are uh, basically it's very simple um they're currently a whitelist only meaning that you have to uh request access but it's a very very basic approach you go to our website there's a button it's a it's a type form it's a few questions just to make sure you know you have some kind of a collection or or you're building something right because we don't want to just open it up right now to just anybody that just goes in there and just creates uh you know whatever uh you know without them actually having a real project because uh you know we, we want to we're still in beta on on, on hedera and uh, we want to be able to uh and, and we want to you know we're doing you know regular updates and builds all the time right uh we're working with uh, may from hash hashback and uh even Alex from Hedera Foundation to make a uh, some kind of official announcement that we're live probably in a couple of weeks but right now we're in this beta mode and um you know we you know we have this kind of like a um, thing where we know you know we're, we're fixing bugs we're adding new features we're tweaking things so uh, we're doing constant builds and rollouts so that's why uh, we have it's not fully fully open but it's still it's still available to anyone that's interested you just go to our website request for access and within 24 hours you you you'll have access to the platform it's it's just as simple as that i know that both of you guys have brought up uh the the monstrosity of the team that is the hashpack team and i'm pretty sure we have mark up here today uh but if you think about mark or jacob or may or any of these guys um you know and the rest of the team i mean these guys are just <clears throat> i mean i can even speak from my own personal sense how much mark has helped me out personally um, within some of the events that Genfinity has tried to facilitate. Um, I would like to hear from you guys. I mean, I know this is recent probably for the Lethos team, but I think it was over the past couple of weeks we saw integration with Lethos and Hashpack. What has that experience been like um, thus far, as far as, uh, you know, the, the claiming aspects and, and just working with the team? In yeah, general? well, thank you so much, Ryan. Um, this is Mark. Um, yeah, so, I mean, May's been, you know, dealing with, like, you know, taking care of mostly everything but if anything from our side what every, what we've been hearing is that it's just been incredible the amount the speed at which most of the um, drops have been selling out have been incredible and also the feedback from the community I mean our discords have been just filled with people just asking oh how do we get on this how do we get on that and it, it just it's just awesome to see this this use cases come alive and like um, like Michael was saying you know being able to um, showcase this great IP that, that they're working on. And I feel like with the engagement side of things with Bounty Block is further incentivizing people to engage with this IP, learn more about it. And I think that the whole comic approach is, is, is super interesting. I'm actually, you know, I, I, I love comic books and all of that. And, and I think that overall it's been, it's been incredible. The, the entire user journey is something that it was super polished and really, I think it made it super, super simple. And, and yeah, I mean, it, it's been truly, truly incredible to to be part of this, and really excited for for everything else that will come in the future. Yeah, and from Michael's uh, Michael from Lethos' standpoint, I mean, what's the experience that you guys have had so far working with Hashpack? I mean, every everything's been phenomenal. Like she, uh, that you know, we are able to deliver everything to the community as you know smoothly as possible and again to your point of us trying a web 2.5 approach is very accurate because ultimately again we we want to help um you know satisfy the the hedera ecosystem and bring something really great for them but we also want to come in and help grow it and so growing it requires us kind of onboarding or at least helping to draw onboarding new non-crypto or non-NFT, non-Web3 you know, um, web three savvy people. And that's, I think, that that's the industry's, that's, that's the industry's challenge. So I think it's a, it's a thing that everybody wants to see is, you know, increase awareness and simplify onboarding and sort of demystify Web3. And so I think 
from my perspective, things like working with Hashpack and uh, Bounty Block to just create opportunities that are, you know, familiar to just, you know, analog, right? So animal, analog, you know, regular web, web two or whatever um, uh, uh, behaviors and, and collectibles, but within this space um, and, you know, creating that kind of bridge between the old world of how we collected things and what the value of those things are intrinsically um, and, you know, tied to entertainment or not. And then just trying to kind of um, bring uh, engagement via the entertainment side in, you know, inevitable, um, uh, inevitably bringing them into the more of the bigger game ecosystem. A hundred percent. I mean, and I know that you guys like with the, with the claiming of <clears throat> the digital collectibles, um, right now, I mean, like I, whenever, I, I guess I can talk for myself personally, whenever I saw that, like, there was OGs from like days gone, the last of us cypher filter, stuff like that through the lethos branding. Like that was, this was, I mean, I don't even remember when this was maybe six, eight months ago, maybe even a little bit longer. Um, just staying on top of like the founders passes and everything else, else you know, that as you guys launched, one thing that was extremely interesting to me is that like, it, there's not really, it, it's, it's way more about community building than it is about trying to make money on the backs of the community with the sale of NFTs and things like that, which I think is really refreshing because you guys are building out a AAA game. Uh, you guys are also kind of doing the fan and the community onboarding, I think, in a very legitimate way from from everything that we've seen so far, which is fantastic to, to witness. Um, one thing I would like to ask both Lethos and um, Bounty Block, um, how would you guys... so? given the experience that you that you've had so far with community onboarding um what would be some recommendations for people that might be listening or people that get involved in the future so to to, to allow them to get more involved and to help you know spread the word about both lethos and bounty blocks so um you know what where would you like people to kind of really try to go and support the initiatives that you guys are building out um both from bounty block standpoint and from from the gamification standpoint with lethos I mean, on our side, I think the thing is, you know, we are just scratching the surface now. I think, you know, to your point, we announced um, last June and then, you know, introduced um, some, you know, very early things into the community, but needed to bring more value. And so now six, eight months later, we're now unveiling, you know, those pieces of the things that we've been working on for that short period of time, which I think is you know, familiar to the crypto web three. Okay. Well, we announced and now you're, you know, producing things and it's a reasonable amount of time. But I think what happens now is we will just continue to be creating new opportunities for the community to participate in, you know, um, more comics, more collectibles. Um, we have, you know, again, card games that we're looking at that will lead to the bigger game, but that will support the things that we've created going to them. And we have ideas on how to kind of merge all of these worlds together. Um, and so just, you know, people staying active in, tw you know, Twitter and Discord and coming to the website um, and, and we'll continue to keep dropping, um, you know, very, very, you know, hopefully intrinsically valuable things to the community um, at a very low cost entry to mostly be about celebrating the community and the IP. Um, and then we do hope that that passes that value to the community where they can, um, you know, you know, find their own value in it and trade and, and participate and um, also tell, like share with us what they like that we're doing, what, what isn't working. Um, you know, that happened along the way when we, we did our first outing of, you know, drops, um, we really tried to kind of do it more on a, a web two plus experience and the community was like, we really wanted a, um, you know, more direct, um, web three one. So we quickly pivoted, I had been more already working on, a, you know, a background way to do that. So we were able to just kind of pivot and turn that on so that we could serve both audiences. I think the, the key is obviously it's just trying to figure out and, and how, having the community help us figure out together 
how we start merging these ecosystems together without kind of having two discrete ecosystems. 